The Samsung Galaxy S4 is the South Korean company's answer to the impending arrival of the iPhone 5S and the main competitor for the HTC One. Of course, the big question is whether it can keep Samsung at the top. We round up text reviews, movers and shakers for their verdict on Samsung's latest smartphone. It's fair to say that David from The Verge did not like the look of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and noting he just couldn't get over the gross feeling when he was holding the device. He concludes on the design, if the GS3 is any indication, millions upon millions will choose the Galaxy S4. Me, I think design matters, polish matters, the S4 is fast and impressive, it's also noisy and complex. Moving on to Mashable and Christina Warren is confused. She writes that the S4 is an impressive phone and is Samsung's most realized smartphone or tablet to date. But the jam-packedness of the phone is also its curse, as wading through the features and figuring out what is useful and what is a one-time gimmick is difficult. Jessica Dolko over at CNN agrees with the cutout on the S4 and writes as cool as some of the S4 add-ons seem, the multitude makes them easy to miss and there's a good chance most people will only use a fraction of them. Finally, we have the man of tech, Walt S. Mossberg from the Wall Street Journal and his closing statement. While many will compare the S4 to the iPhone 5, I also compared it to the HTC One, which came out in April. The HTC has a handsome, sturdier aluminium body, dual stereo speakers, an excellent camera, better screen resolution than the new Samsung, and twice the base memory for the same price. If you're a nut for lists of new features, love Samsung or crave an even bigger display, the S4 may be for you. It's a good phone, just not a great one. For our review on the S4, head to t3.com and subscribe to us on YouTube for the latest tech, news, reviews and videos.